about the title thumbnail you probably already know got my car back so uh, there's the news there um it's pretty much the biggest surprise for today got the car back and uh heading right back over to the shop so picked the car up yesterday um got to head right back over there today got to take care of a couple of things with uh putting the stock intake back on the car um getting the car aligned because when we put the new diff in uh shout out to the guys at your apparel uh, we put the diff in obviously you need an alignment so got to get the car aligned we're gonna check out turtle shop now i filmed turtle shop probably in the last video that you guys seen so you know what it looks like but more shop content won't hurt so what's up everybody shout out to all my slow speeders super super shout out to all my slow speeders standout gang standout merch standout media standout bike life the whole nine baby shout out to you guys if you guys have not subscribed definitely go down below hit the subscribe button like this video and throw a comment on there emojis count two all right in today's video i pretty much already guys i pretty much already told you gonna get alignment i'm uh, gonna go kick it at the shop uh one of my friends by the name of Lionel, he got STI, he's taking it back. He's gonna go pick up a WRX. So I wanna go ahead, wait, that's not him, is it? We'll be doing over at Turtle Performance as well. Um, give you some sound clips of one of my coworkers, 650 getting down pipes put on. So wish I could've got a before clip, but couldn't make it in time, had to work. And uh, yeah, it should be a pretty interesting day. I'm gonna learn a lot about alignments. I think it'll be pretty, pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. So update, y'all know that I plan on selling the car and that still remains. The car's drivable, obviously we put the diff in. That's what we were waiting on. There's nothing else wrong with the car. Turn it down. We're running Pump 93 now. Uh, one of the issues is uh, I get a lot of people like, looking at the car and you know they like it or whatever you know, some people give me like low ball offers which 18k is like low as hell i don't know how you can go lower that but uh nobody's really buying it so uh gonna continue to go back more and more stock until it goes uh to the dealership and then uh we'll move on with the next build or the next project which i still don't know now reality is starting to kick in um, the reason I say that is because I was so gung-ho on getting this uh, G80, G82, M3, M4. Um, but to but to be honest, but, but, but to be 100% honest with you, the money got to add up. You get what I'm saying? That's If you see me with a G82, M3, M4, just know the money added up. If you see me without one, just know I ain't had the money for it. That's pretty much where we're at right now. Um, I expect, like, you know, lease payments to be somewhere... Like well north of like probably like twelve hundred ish, maybe fourteen hundred ish, um, and I can swing that. Um, I'll be counting on YouTube to come up with the back end of that revenue, so which is not a problem. But I don't know. Um, to be straight blunt, straightforward, one of the reasons that I got the four thirty five instead of the M four way back which I'm pretty sure many of you guys know I can obviously afford an F82 M4, F80 M4. The money wasn't the problem. It was just the modifications that I wanted to do and what I wanted to do with the car uh, led me only to be able to afford a 435. Reason I bring that up is because it's the same thing with the G82 and the G80. I'm more so concerned about the things behind the pavement, like tires, for instance. Uh, a lot of you guys know I change my tires like every three months. I can go ahead and get that car and say, you know what, Mike, I'm just gonna do less donuts, less burnouts, less just pooning around. But instead of trying to change myself or my driving style or who I am, I'd much rather accept the fact that that's how I drive, that's what I wanna do and that's what I enjoy and buy my cars accordingly. So it's not the lease price or the finance price that I'm really concerned about. It's the back end stuff. Uh, just we gotta have some money for something might break and who knows, warranty might be out of the water by like the next week. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, the money gotta add up. And when I say the money, I don't mean straight up payments. And I want everybody to look at it that way as well because the last thing you want is like, to not be prepared, you know. I know how I drive my car. You guys know how I drive my car. And the 435 was a perfect car at 26,000 because I was always prepared financially when something happened. I wasn't prepared 
to take the loss and you know i guess time and content whatever the case may be the car being down but uh yeah hope you guys like that speech with that being said i have arrived to turtle performance i'm gonna go in there kick it with them a little bit and uh you know get on with this oh yeah just a quick walk around because i know y'all ain't see the car in a while Still got them chunky monkeys on the back. Video about these coming soon. Why you really don't want our triple eights. One six fifty. Two six fifty. I'm gonna tell you, I'm just I'm just telling you, it took three people to get the shit off. You know you scheduled for an alignment today of a green BMW, right? Not for real, you didn't know that? No. The bottom's done, secured, done. Once I do the top, clean it up, start it. The catless down pipes. I'm ready for that. I'm ready for the exhaust on that V8. <laughs> Tell them what that is. Ah! Tell them what it is. V8. Tell them V8. 4.4 liter? This ain't no, this ain't no 640. <laughs> this ain't no 640. You're gonna be fast. You know, he don't even want to be fast. He just wanted for the sound. You could have told him to resonate the deletes. Nah, catalyst on this sound good. Nah. You know who you're talking to? You can bring that shit back. <laughs> no. He said the rental. Money. The rental's over, bro. I have. I have a debit. I have a debit card and. This one's mine. Huh? I said this one's mine. Yeah, I know the one without the big giant wing. So this is. This has to come off. This is like twenty thousand. This is like forty thousand. Yeah, and I legit. I think I finance. Oh. Four. So you gotta get the key break off. Uh huh. The the lock. The button. Wait, I have the original e brake, but I have a e brake like that okay, to switch to. So we're gonna take my e brake. <laughs> hey, look at this. The bank information. Okay. Let me see if you guys can see it. You got fourth gear, jail, prison, <laughs> and then reverse or ringland. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah, I think R is for ringland. Uh, yeah, hold on. This unscrews. Yeah. It's, it's been a while since it unscrewed. What you do, man? You beat off before you do <laughs> Word, right? <laughs> you hear my wrist cracking and shit? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> look, 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 he's like. <laughs> I call it professional. Yeah, so I called you. You stupid. I'm anything but professional, I'll tell you that. Me too. I'm, I'm a DIYer. That's what I think I'm, I'm gonna do with my next car. I'm, I'm just gonna, DIY everything. I'm a YouTube video slash. Uh, yo, look, I could do this. I'm just a comedian. <laughs> I know the button just screws off the. Yeah. This? Yeah, yeah, you can just screw it. I did that already. <laughs> How? It's retarded. I don't know. It go, it'll come all the way out. <laughs> yeah, how many times yeah. you did this? Well, I was bored sitting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, not, look, not a secret. Oh, there you go. Because <laughs> I, I have the same one to switch to. I have to, this nigga takes one, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a lot of, that don't even look right. You might have to loosen that. I don't know. Oh, it's another one. I was going to say there's three. <laughs> this is when all these years of Pornhub is about to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, which way direction is supposed to go? <laughs> <laughs> left, bro. Left? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, look, look. He looking like it's supposed to be. It gotta be a clip, a button, or something. Imagine if there is a fucking retarded. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's a... You said all it does is unscrew, right? Yeah. Let me see something. Oh, okay. We got the gloves. Where are you? Oh, I don't know. It's slippery anyway. Are that slipperier? Slipperier? Yeah. 
Oh my God! That's a point. That says something about you, bro. That says nah, nah, something nah, nah, about nah. you. Pornhub, Pornhub elite. Yo, where you going? That nigga paid for it. <laughs> bro, <laughs> these are my nipple clamps. What? Hey, yo, <laughs> yo. Oh, oh this right here is good. What the fuck? You gotta beat a nigga over the head. <laughs> yo, this nigga toolbox yo, is yo. so unproductive. It's a Subaru. <laughs> Yo, we just gonna use this. <laughs> there you go. And I wanna So you're telling me you gotta push this all the way through. Yes, and then when it this goes all the way through. See this is why I just buy automatic, bro. Huh? <laughs> I buy automatic. I, I tried, but my soul, man, like <laughs> I buy like, fucking automatic. This is too much work. I can't be slow in an automatic, my nigga. This is crazy. All right, so now you got to put it in reverse. Oh, you punched it too? Yeah. So now it's in reverse. Now you good. Yeah. Now you take it out, bro. You break it. I ain't breaking it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get the... <laughs> whatever you do, bro. Yo, whatever you do. Don't put it in neutral. <laughs> All you're going to hear is ping. <laughs> Yo, he, to the he, nah, he gonna he gonna go ahead and, and drop it off like that. <laughs> Yo, ain't no reverse. Fuck that shit. Should have been louder. Yeah, it could be a little louder. Drop it up. Looks like you got any leaks. That's good. it up and check the bottom. Check it. Man, I went from a bag to a bag to a bag. I remember me and mama used to ride the cab. Pull up by the light, no more lease we pay cash. Show up to Mike, your car sound good, boy. You gonna like it? It's not, it's not a lot of obnoxious. So, told you. Yes. 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 Yo, put a pole on YouTube. He said put a pole on The V8 or the uh, five cylinder. He's missing, he's missing one cylinder. The five cylinder? So what are you replacing? He coming, he coming. Send it! Send it! How's it feel to be back to stock? Um, damn, I take that too long. <laughs> Yo! How sneaky though, bro. I told you. Stop looking at this shit. Man, that shit about to go back. You about to get the Rex. How do you feel? Um. It's not as expensive, so it's kind of liberating. <laughs> My pockets are happy. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that shit is sport. Like, I used to drive an intelligent. Bro, after I started driving sport, I was like, this shit is fucking boring in this <laughs>
told you it fit last time. <laughs> Am I good? So it has to go on the thing, right? Hold on, yo, you don't have like a towel? Oh, it's just low, that's what it is. The other cars go over top of it. Yo, I, I told you I put insurance on the um I put insurance on the Honda. Five hundred I, I got a Civic, a five speed, EK, coupe. This is not bad. This is the bad side. Well Damn, yo, this eats the bottom like crazy. These potholes and stuff. Sheesh. Well, not the potholes, but the damn. Fucking wrong, just try it, man. Yeah, man. 33, Okay. There we go. No, that's for like help. Yeah, no. That, that's like, uh, it tells you where to adjust on this car. Oh, that's good though, no? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It'll show you like, when press it. That clicked It'll on probably it. show you like a picture. Yeah. Shit, like an x-ray coming out. red light coming up sheesh about to get me killed hold on yeah today's a new day uh went, as soon as we got the alignment ran down to maryland uh now the alignment the alignment uh i don't know maybe we rushed it or something so we gotta go back get it checked out because it's kind of like the same what i noticed with bmw alignments is really it, it's really important that you get these done i don't know what it is but it's more noticeable in my opinion Got them bugs on the windshield. It's more noticeable uh, when you go over like a bump or something like that. It just, it's all over the place. Or like a rough patch of road. It's like scary, scary. I was supposed to leave for Maryland the night before, but let's see, let's take this on ramp. Yo, POVs are definitely coming to the channel, bro. This shit right here. So yeah, that's our uh, walkthrough of the alignment. We'll probably go like into part two, maybe with um, somebody else. But nonetheless, uh, sketchy, scary. I had to wait for the rain to subside because Archer Blades, uh, what was it? Archer Blades, open diff, uh, rain, ain't, ain't, that, ain't all that great. So, and bad alignment. So yes. Alignment's still screwed up, but it's not raining, so it's not too bad. You know, I squiggle around a little bit, but it's not like the rain. Um, yeah. Heading over to a dealership, a BMW dealership. Wanna check out a couple cars, but they can see what they have there. Yeah, obviously you guys know I'm thinking about trading the car. Well, I am trading the car. I, I don't want any parts of it. I don't have any emotional attachment to the car anymore. Even the turbo sounds makes everybody happy. The color makes everybody happy, but eh, just don't make me happy anymore. Quick little Q and A. One question: Should you ever do all this stuff to your car? No. Like if you daily it, no. If you owe like money on it, no. I I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't see me doing this ever again to another finance car. That's why I picked up the Honda. Uh, go check out those videos. I go wild on those videos. I'm talking about like shit. Don't be surprised if there's like a fucking dump tube hanging out the hood. Like that's that's what I like. But I also don't want to do it to a car finance and it sucks. Especially like my nice car, quote unquote. Um, 
it would have to be like, let's say if I had like an M6 or M5 or the X3, MX4, whatever the case may be, uh, I'm, just, I'm modify anything that I get, modify anything I get, but I think I'm gonna enjoy it more like as a driver's car. You know, I was kind of scared and skeptical of getting like the Porsche 911. Even the 718 came in S, but um, I was kind of skeptical at first because I'm like, you know what? I don't want to get it and then like not have that many modifications available for it or the new M4 and new M3. I don't want to get it and not have that many modifications available and don't make and not have any content. Well, to be honest with you, um, I'm dark, light again, but to be honest with you, any newer car that I get that I'm making content on or making payments on, I'm not gonna do anything. It's more visual. I'm gonna go for more drives. I'm gonna enjoy the car. I'm gonna test little things out. Obviously, downpipe in the tune, which is the typical BMW build, it's gonna happen. But other things too, like wheels, suspension. I'm gonna get a car that's already fast. One, two. I'm not gonna do a lot to it, as far as like crazy things. But I'm not also gonna do like the run of the mill. You know, I'm not gonna get like a. a I don't know, do the basic shit that everybody does, gets annoying and played out. And that's kind of what, I guess, got me with the F82 M4 ish stuff or the F80 M M3 content. I don't know what it is, but they really, I don't really see them like blowing up like GTRs like I thought they would. Um, but, like I was saying, you're not gonna see any crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, I think I've retired from that. If you guys wanna see crazy Michael typical shit, uh, check out the Honda build uh, and all the bills that I get. Think about picking up a car, maybe S52 swapping it, put a turbo on it. A lot of shit, but those cars will be paid for in cash. I'm not doing that to nothing I finance ever again. Just because uh, now I want something else that has my nice car, and this is like a certified like race bucket mobile. And um, yeah, I'm kind of tied into it as far as payment wise. So now I'm trying to get rid of the car. If I didn't have a loan on this car, I would've just probably parked it up, took the plates off and waited until I stopped hating it and then just threw the plates back on and, you know, drove something else in the meantime. But that's not the case. So, in order to free up money that I have, like, monthly going into this car with insurance and the gas is expensive for this shit too, it drinks like a motherfucker. Um, and no, to free that up, I gotta get rid of the car. And a lot of people saying, oh, well, what about all the work and money and, and shit you put into it? Honestly, it was all for the fun anyway. You know, you don't snore crack and be like, oh man, all that money I put in crack for this year, no, it's gone, it's said and done. All the burnouts, tire fields, uh, big boost turbo spools, I love them, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna drive myself crazy finding a way trying to keep this car when, honestly, I can get in and I can get in the car and I don't even like it that much, so. That's pretty much uh, the end of this video. Got the car back. Uh, by the time I'm filming this, actually, right here, though, I've been had the car back. Uh, but, uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to see what's next on the channel as far as BMW-wise. Watch that Honda vid. All right, guys. Life's so sweet. Peace out.